Hi everybody, welcome back to Marie's Kitchen. I'm so glad you're here. Today we are making a chocolate tart. And this recipe is probably the easiest recipe on my website. And if you can believe it, it is also the most impressive to serve. It's decadent, elegant, and so delicious. I can't wait for you to try this one. Let's get started. For this chocolate tart, you'll need a nine inch tart pan and it has a removable bottom. So what you can do is once you uh, make the tart and it sets up in the refrigerator for a few hours, then what you can do is you gently press the bottom up and then you can take this out and serve this on either, you can put it on like a cake platter or you can put it on a plate and you can see the whole outside without having this metal in the way. So a nine inch tart pan with a removable bottom. For the crust, we'll need about 25 Oreos or the gluten-free alternative or another cookie that you like, just a pretty crisp kind of wafer type cookie. And we are going to blend these up in the food processor because we need them to be you know, ground up like, like powder or crumbs. So if you don't have a food processor, you can put these in a Ziploc bag and just pound it with like a rolling pen until they get nice and small. But I'm gonna use a food processor, one of my favorite gadgets, and it seems like I forgot the blade. So let me go grab that real quick. Here it is, good. This is the blade that we're using to grind up these crumbs. And now we'll put our cookies in the bowl of the food processor here. And I am going to measure how much crumbs we have. So then if you wanna just buy crumbs, which I know you can do for at least graham crackers, you can do that if you wanna save a step. So we'll just blend this up. Okay, that looks good. By weight, it's 292 grams, or approximately two and a half cups. Next is five tablespoons unsalted butter, and that's melted. We'll just pour that right in. It's mostly melted. There are some pieces in there. Whenever I say mostly melted, I think about, um, if you've ever seen The Princess Bride, do you remember Mostly Dead? <laughs> is he dead? <laughs> He's mostly dead. So this is mostly melted. We're just gonna give it a quick pulse to mix that up. Oh, cookies everywhere. Okay, now you have kind of a wet mixture, kind of like wet sand is what it looks like. Now we're just pressing the crumbs into this tart pan, and the crust can be done a day or two ahead. The other thing you do need to account for when you're making this tart is that it's gonna need to cool for about three to four hours in the refrigerator. That's how the center is gonna set up, so this is a great one if you wanna make ahead, make it in the morning, make it the day before, and give it time to set about three to four hours. Okay, this looks great. It feels nice and firm, looks really good. Now we'll put this in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes at 350 degrees until the crust is just set. While the crust cooks, we'll have a pause for dog. The crust is ready, so we're gonna grab it out of the oven. This looks great. If you can see up close, it really doesn't look any different, hardly than from when we started, but it is just nice and set in place. It's not gonna just break into crumbs. So we've baked our crust. Now we'll set this aside and let it cool. And once it's cool, then we start the filling. For the filling, you'll just need a medium pot and we're gonna use one cup of heavy whipping cream. Now we'll add one teaspoon vanilla. And then I'm also gonna add just a little pinch of salt just to kind of round out the flavors there. Give that a stir. Now we'll put this in our pot over about medium low heat. You wanna just bring it to a barely simmer, just warm through and just the little bubbles around the outside, not to a boil or that can separate it. 
Once the cream reaches the simmer, we'll add our chocolate. And I am using Ghirardelli 60% cacao, so it's a bittersweet chocolate, and you do need eight ounces. You can use another uh, semi-sweet chocolate. That'll work, just make sure you have eight ounces. And of course, you know, the higher quality chocolate you use, the better it's gonna taste. Okay, you can see just we're starting to get some bubbles here on the side, and that is plenty, so turn it from medium to about medium low. And now we'll add our butter. We're gonna add one quarter cup butter. That's four tablespoons. And I will put the grams conversion here on the screen. And this is pretty soft, so I think I'll just throw it in like that. <laughs> so we'll just stir this until the butter melts. Before you add the chocolate, you'll wanna turn the fire off. And now we'll just add our chunks of chocolate in there. And the heat from the cream and the butter is gonna melt that chocolate. Wasn't this so easy? It's just great. My sister-in-law was here yesterday and she said she made it for her son's class party. She said it was the hit of a whole party. And then she also made it for kind of an elegant Valentine's dinner and it was also a hit. So, I mean, this, this goes is just great for just about any occasion. Break these up a little bit and then we'll give this a stir. I don't like to use a whisk in this case because I feel like it adds a lot of air and you don't want a lot of bubbles in this really smooth chocolate that we're gonna have. So I just stir it with a spatula and let that chocolate melt. Okay, this looks great. Can you see how smooth and beautiful that is? Really, really lovely. Okay, once you have all the chocolate mixed in, which we do, now we'll pour it into the filling here. There we go. But then you just spread this out, use your spatula, kind of smooth it down. Now we'll put this in the refrigerator and chill for about three hours until the filling is set. So we'll taste it later. <laughs> I know y'all like it when we cut it and taste it on the show. So we will do that, but it's probably gonna be a little chaotic. So just warning you. <laughs> All right, into the fridge. Thanks so much for joining us on Marie's Kitchen. Today we made this easy and delicious, elegant chocolate tart that was so incredibly easy. I can't wait for you to try it. If you think you might, leave me a comment and let me know. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. It means so much to me. That's how I'm able to grow this channel, which has truly been my dream of a lifetime. So for this recipe and more, head over to my website, mariesava.com. There you can go and print out this chocolate tart recipe and all my recipes. And if you like, put them in a notebook and make your very own Marie's Kitchen cookbook for free. My goal is to give you some really easy recipes that turn out great every time so you can build some confidence in the kitchen and feel really inspired to share good food with people that you love. From my kitchen to yours, thank you. Hi everybody, I'm back with the chocolate tart after it's set in the refrigerator for three to four hours and is a different day. You can see it's been in there wrapped in plastic. So, but we never got to try it on camera and I promised you that we would. So here we are, I have a guest, guest taster today. This Hi everybody. John, <laughs> he's too tall for the camera. So anyway, I'll cut a slice. And My favorite. This is your favorite. I was gonna say, I know you've had this before, but we just have to, oh, let me get a spatula. Are you gonna get mad at me for eating it? Well, you just can't, like you, you can't eat it before I tell you to. That's the one problem at my house. If I have to photograph it, they can't eat it. So, oh, I heavens. I don't appreciate you making pies, putting them in the refrigerator, and then assuming that no one's gonna eat it, so. So I have to put stickies on them that says, do not eat. And this literally happened one time. It said, do not eat. He ate it and then said, what's that sign for? <laughs> it's not true. Elaine was so mad. True. Here, oh, I was, oh. Mm, it's delicious. Really good? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, I thought you were gonna no. give oh, me a bite. Gonna... Yeah, just. Sure. <laughs> I wasn't sure if, you know. Mmm. <laughs> 
Thank you. Mm. Can I have the rest of it? It is so good.